Hey people, today we are going to see about Andhra Pradesh from India Yearbook 2017. India Yearbook 2017 is considered to be an important book for UPSC exams and at least you can expect a question and at most can be two or three. So this series is about all the states and union territories from India Yearbook 2017. So first I am going to talk about Andhra Pradesh. This is Andhra Pradesh state and these are all its district. So you can have a look at it. It's This is the state of Andhra Pradesh after separated, got separated from Telangana. Capital. Andhra Pradesh has two capital. That is one is Dijur in law and other Amravati de facto and this one is actually the capital which is being developed so for time being this will be the capital so if there are options like Hyderabad and other other cities you can actually go for Hyderabad if there is options with Hyderabad and Amravati you can go for Amravati Area wise, it is the eighth largest state in India. CM N. Chandra Babu Nayadu, Governor ESL Narshiman. So, this is ESL Narshiman and this is C. N. Chandra Babu Nayadu. High Court. Both Andhra and Telangana share the same High Court. It is in Hyderabad. This is their High Court. Population overall population for the state is 4.9 crore and this is as of 2011 census and overall population in India Andhra is in 10th position so 10th in population languages spoken is Telugu, Urdu, Hindi and Banjara we always tend to think that Telugu is the only prominent language spoken in Andhra Pradesh but I will tell you in later slide why Urdu, Hindi, Banjaras were also spoken in Andhra Pradesh and it has the second longest coastline after Gujarat. Uh, obviously, Gujarat has the first coastline, longest coastline. This is the second longest and the coastline is along the Bay of Bengal. Shares border with Tamil Nadu, Chhattisgarh, Telangana, Karnataka and Odisha. Uh, you can expect a question like uh, what are all these states bordering Tel, uh, sorry, Andhra Pradesh and you can answer like Chhattisgarh, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Karnataka and Odisha. So these are all question places. This is about their small history. Atriya Brahmana 2000 BC actually gives a, a small history about Andhra. Andhra people are originally an Aryan race living in the North India migrated to South of India as later mixed with non-Aryans and that's how they got the name called Andhra people and this is also mentioned in Andhra Desa which is uh, uh, written in 236 from 236 BC and this 236 BC is also the year of Ashoka's death so you can correlate and remember so about the rulers this is the chronological order of the rulers I've given in the order. So first one were Satavanas, Sakas, Ishakus, Chalukyas, Kakatiyas, Vijayanagar and last were Nizams. What happened to Nizams? Why weren't, why weren't they very powerful after that? Because British then annexed it from Nizams and formed a single province called Madras. So after independence, Telugu speaking area were separated from Madras and Andhra Pradesh was formed in 1st October 1953. Hyderabad and Andhra state merged together in the State Reorganization Act of 1956 on 1st November 1956. Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act of 2014, which is very recent, that's how Andhra Pradesh was bifurcated to Andhra and Telangana. So two states were formed very recently. We got the 29th state called Telangana. <clears throat> literacy rate. So overall literacy rate of Andhra Pradesh is 67.41 percentage as of 2011. So it's taken in 2011. It includes Telangana as, as well as Andhra Pradesh. So 
<clears throat> the next census will be in 2021. So this will be the entire answer for both the states. Emblem. Purna Kumbham is the emblem for Andhra. This is their emblem and this is the Kumbham. Song, state song is Ma Telugu Talki. Dance is Kuchipudi. Kuchipudi is a famous famous dance form and this is Kuchipudi. This is how they wear the costumes and everything are actually. And animal blackbird, this is blackbird, bird, Indian roller, very beautiful bird, Indian roller. And flower is blue water lily, this is blue water lily. Fruit is mango and, and tree is neem, neem tree. And they have four major rivers in their state and they are Godavari, Krishna, Pennad and Tungabhadra. And sports, they, these four rivers actually exist in this Bay of Bengal. And sports is Kabaddi. Kabaddi is a famous sport. These are all the small points about Andhra. Now we'll look into their culture. It's very important. You can expect a question in art and culture from these places. So have a look at it in detail of them. I've also added uh, points from Google. So it's not only from India, your book. I've also added points. So you can have this one stop for knowing about Andhra Pradesh. So Andhra Pradesh has a rich cultural heritage. Kuchipudi is the state dance originated from the village Kuchipudi. That's why it's called Kuchipudi and it's in Krishna district. So there are 14 GI tags uh, for handicrafts, foodstuffs, textiles, etc. So you can have a look at it. Most of them are related to saris, fabrics and uh, prints and their famous print is called Kalamkari. I'll tell you why they are famous because they're very famous. And about the art and culture, as I told you, Kalamkari, it's very famous and it's from Machri Patnam and Sri Kalasti. These are the two unique places which actually print the Kalamkari. Kalamkari is actually a painting which is being printed on fabrics and textiles. So people wear Kalamkari dresses and it's very famous. Music is Carnatic. Carnatic music is very famous. Literature. About literature, Nanaya, Tikhana and Yara Pradaga. Uh, sorry if I'm not spelling it right. Uh, from the Trinity who translated the tra Sanskrit epic of Mahabharata into Telugu language. So these three are the people who translated Mahabharata. And cuisine. About the cuisine. Uh, Telugu people's traditional sweet pute Puterkalu originated from Atriyapuram, village of Andhra Pradesh. So, this is a famous traditional sweet. You can have a look at them in Google. If you Google, you will get the picture. So, next is agriculture. Very famous for agriculture because Andhra has their rice production. Uh, about 62 percentage of the state are into agriculture and about 77 percentage of the food grains is only rice and Andhra is known as the rice bowl of India. Other important crops like jowar, bajra, maize, ragi, small millets, pulses, castor tobacco and sugar cane also grown there. Government is working with a sustainable agriculture production with the minimum income with the minimum cost of cultivation eventually announcing the return on income for the farmers so they give niners free supply uh, current supply and subsidize seed interest rates crop loan etc for developing their agricultural sector and andhra pradesh is in first position for crop loan from commercial and cooperative banks so people are very active in getting loans and also cultivating rice crops and earning from it. Andhra is very good in agriculture and this is about agriculture. And about the irrigation, Andhra Pradesh has a project program called Chalangyanam. 86 projects are taken under this program and it is very famous. Recently it's given in India yearbook. So program aims at completing the ongoing and the new projects in record time to provide immediate irrigation to water starved areas on top priority by mobilizing the funds from all possible sources so this program allows the areas which has no water to actually get access to the water and they can actually cultivate all their crops in their area 
so it's very famous and chalamyanam is the word you have to remember that and the scheme about it power andra is a power surplus state you have to remember about it andra is a power surplus state they actually produce more power and they actually give it to other states so solar power is actually very famous recently in andhra pradesh the pioneer national wide in solar power generation they are the pioneers ap genco is the power generating company owned by the state and the state become the power surplus with excess power generation being exported to other states as i told you and they also have hydroelectric and thermal power plants hydroelectric the famous ones like nagarjuna sagar neelam sanjeevareddy tungabhadra hydro project are the famous ones thermal power projects like nellur ramagundam kothamangadu vijayawada mundanu shrimadri are the famous thermal projects so they are power surplus you have to have a idea about a uh, power surplus state then you always think about andhra pradesh so industries uh, andhra pradesh is recently developing in industries so the state government is extending various incentives for ssi and tiny sectors and large sector large and medium scale industries so the power tariff concession is also there allotting land relaxing labor laws special economic zones so these zones were created and they are uh, they are giving so many concession to them so 59 it and it is special economic zones with active private sector participation is also there in andhra pradesh about the mines and geology andhra pradesh is known for its varieties of rocks and minerals and it is known as ratna garba ratna garba is the place where you can get a lot of mines so the largest deposits like crystal and asbestos are there in andhra pradesh andhra pradesh also have other minerals they are copper ore manganese mica coal limestone etc singareni coal mine supply coal to the entire south india so it is a huge coal mine as i told you andhra is a ratna garba Andhra Pradesh stands first in bright and limestone production in the country so you can um, remember these two points it's kind of very important housing about the housing andhra have a scheme called rajiv swaraga and the scheme is moderate moderate earning people and for affordable cost that is 25% less than the market price this is for moderately earning people they provided for 25% less and the construction of the rajiv swaraga is under process so these uh, they're going to build building like this and it's under process and this is a good housing program for middle class people health about the health rajiv arogya shri is a program by andhra pradesh government is a unique health insurance scheme implemented in andhra pradesh this enables the poor suffering from chronic disease to undergo treatment up to 2 lakhs choice of the hospital of the treatment is with the patient the entire payment is done online to prevent misuse and fraud so the payment is also done online so this is about the health insurance scheme by andhra pradesh transport andhra has road railway aviation all these sports everything is available and about aviation they have seven airports in which tirupati and visakhapatnam are the two only international airport and other like kadappa puttapathri rajamundri vijayawada are domestic airports sports they have one major port known as visakhapatnam and 13 non major ports that is under state government tourist centers andhra pradesh tourist center development corporation has eco tourism beach tourism and cruise to tourism these are the tourist places i've put in together i'll tell you what are all the important tourist places places like charminar is very famous if you think of andhra you will always think about the charminar which is in hyderabad and salarjung museum golconda fort fort in barangal shri lakshmi narsimha swami temple buddha stupa trimala tripati this is trimala tripati this is the world's richest uh, 
temple and it's made of gold this one is made of gold and you you can expect like million people visiting a day so many people will be there at tirupati every day araku valley is horsley hills uh, it's at horsley hills nalupattu shri mallikarjuna swami temple in shri sailam so all these 10 are the famous very famous must visit places if you are going to andhra pradesh please do visit all these places important one one important thing about andhra pradesh is space research organization that is isro they have their shri harikota in andhra pradesh a barrier island of on shri harikota in nello district of andhra pradesh is a satellite launching station it is india's primary orbital launch site and india's lunar orbiter chandrayaan 1 was launched from the center so so many satellites we launch every year and they are from shri harikota uh, island so this is very famous in andhra pradesh you have to make a note about this space uh, you know research organization so this video was, pre was presented by me yoga if you have any doubt please do mail us to 29 states edu at gmail dot com and subscribe to our channel for more lessons. I will be creating more lessons from India your book relating to the states and union territories. I will not only add the points from India your book. I will also add the points from Google. I will search extra points which is very necessary and that. So by watching this 15 to 16 minutes video, you can actually. Uh, clear a question in in the exams so thank you thank you so much